So this is Komal Lachari. I'm a local real estate agent in Florida area. So this video, I'm going to break down all kind of facts about Florida. I live in South Florida, but I serve in whole Florida region. And that's why we try to go more deeper into the comparison of every area because the Florida has a lot of varieties. If you are moving here for the lifestyle or if you are moving here for the work or if you are moving here for retirement, all kinds of different goals can be achieved in Florida. And that's why the Florida has been very famous among the relocation not just in COVID time but before also but this during the COVID pandemic situations you know having the virtual work and the, having the flexibility for the job a lot of people got triggered with the thought process of moving to more affordable states or moving to states where you know you can have a little different lifestyle and do a lot of stuff a lot of fun so that's why the Florida has been one of the famous state for the relocation so let me tell you first how Florida is divided if you check on this map you will understand Florida has the North Florida, Central Florida and South Florida and at the same time it has the East side and the West side. So let me break down first with the lifestyle. What you will get the difference in those areas plus the weather because lifestyle and weather is kind of interrelated and I'm sure you must be moving for the lifestyle. Is that right? So let me start with if you're looking for warm weather, complete warm weather, 365 days, almost 300 days days you have a full sun and no winter not at all winter then South Florida is for you because South Florida has humidity but at the same time very warm weather so that's what I told another point where the, the disadvantage in South Florida is the humidity the extra humidity you will find in South Florida because of the beach you know if you want to look for let's say more about like you know a little bit of forest feel and you don't care about the beach and you are okay with having the midwinter season then definitely the central florida is for you because central florida kind of give a feel of part of south florida and part of north florida the weather gets different winter there is a winter there and you know i have a lot of friends living in tampa orlando i see them all the time in a winter the hoodies and the sweaters and all in south florida i never had to take out the any of my sweaters so that's the biggest difference of the weather another thing about the lifestyle in central florida is there are no beach there are not at all beach like there are beaches but it's like a little bit further you know on the corner so for example you're living in Tampa then you may have a bigger rivers or bigger lakes but at the same time you do not have beach accesses very easy there are like a clear water beach or St. Petersburg and you know there are a couple of are there I'm not saying it's not but comparatively the convenient wise is a little difficult but if you are looking for let's say for kids having the fun in Disneyland and having the bush gardens like a lot of water park a lot of activities for the kids then Tampa Orlando is for you that's a central Florida and if you go to North Florida then good luck it is not Florida technically it is actually the shadow of Georgia and Alabama it's crazy weather there the winter this winter no doubt of course it doesn't snow but you do feel it winter it's dry weather and less humidity so North Florida weather is kind of way different weather than central Florida or South Florida so I mean it is in part of Florida right but the other states weather does influence in North Florida but there are a couple of other pros that I'm going to mention in during the video so make sure you stay till the end by the way before we go to the next point tell me about your opinion which kind of weather you would love having in Florida and what would be your thought process to like do you like more hot more balanced more you know of course Florida in general is hot but the cold a little bit of cold you like it or not let me know in this comment I would love to hear from you guys now let's talk about the east and west side so east and West what I mean is like the one side of the beach towns are like Naples, Marco Island, Sanibel Island so there are all kind of tourist places you will find and there's the other side which is Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Deerfield Beach, Delray Beach it's a whole border of South Florida and of course the most southern point you go there's a Key West and you know a lot of keys in the down from Miami so this is all three has the almost similar lifestyle but 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 biggest differences are the crowd if you go on Naples Marco Island that border it will be more quieter and if you come to Fort Lauderdale Fort uh, Miami it has a little bit of city feels and you do have some towns here where you get more of countryside feel so if you don't want to be lost you know in a countryside feel and more like a quieter 
kind of personality you don't have then and it's more like a balance I feel honestly on southeast where we live you have a suburb feel and you have a city feel all to mix together and there are a lot of beach towns for example if you don't like a crowd right then don't go in Miami if you don't like to have in high rise then don't go in Fort Lauderdale Hollywood but if you want to live on east side and still want to have like little quieter lifestyle then personally you see Jupiter there are a lot of other cities are there which is kind of under process to grow and they are great 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 cities to invest at this moment because the prices are not too high and that makes me think about the next point okay before I go there let me finish with the Naples Mark Island feel I do a lot of vacations there honestly my one of my favorite vacation spot is Naples and uh, definitely keep it in a list again if you want to retire and you want to have a quieter environment definitely that area would give serve you a lot of different options if you are looking for more options to look at it comment us below or contact us we have a great team working on that area too that's one of the famous in this time too because a lot of people love to live in a quieter side you know it's not they don't like more city feel and um, the prices you know we'll talk next but it's not a too much difference however the lifestyle that's a lot of difference because it's purely less high rise I would say and it's more like you know quite a feel now let's talk about the most important thing is the prices right the real estate part is really important important to compare when you are moving either rental or buy you do need some home right to live so let's start if you start with central florida which is tampa orlando area if you see in a map what i mean by central florida central florida prices are not too expensive you do find a lot of new constructions there too and the prices you know the appreciation also is not that high compared to south florida and the prices are also not that high so if you are looking for let's say something newer side feel less than 500,000 you still get the good houses there so in central florida one thing i'll tell you is like uh, you know the driving wise the commute wise is a little bit challenging sometimes because in general in florida i think that's the issue there's not much public transportation so wherever you live wherever you choose to live then definitely you know you need a car any part of the florida except let's say you are living in the naples and you're not looking to travel a lot the things are very very close by there the shopping areas and but the job wise that's a little bit challenging there because not, there are not too many big tech companies in that side if you compare the south florida versus center florida the south florida prices are a little bit higher per square foot prices than center florida the reason is it's more famous cities are in south florida too there i know of course Orlando is great famous and especially for disneyland right so it's a great city to invest for the investors who wants to do some investment properties and want to start somewhere in south florida also the investment properties are so much amazing you have a great options to do the airbnb you have a great options to do the long-term rentals short-term rentals i have explained a couple of my videos about the investment because i by myself being an investor it's so important to choose the location in south florida you do have a lot of tech companies in miami a lot of it companies coming here so that is why the south South Florida prices no matter what it's been before COVID also was higher and even right now also is higher the real estate market is oh my god it's way awesome so let's say you buy something here the appreciation wise the prices goes really high even though you get a little bit older property because in general south florida doesn't have a too much new construction and if there are new construction then the prices are a little bit above when you compare with the central florida so in general if you're looking for lifestyle want to live near to beach and and still this prices on south florida is not like way expensive let's say you compare to california price or new york price you feel like oh my god i I'm getting so much clo living close to beach having the great weather here and at the same time the prices are not too high I'll show you a couple of examples let's say if you buy a $600,000 condo in South Florida how does it look like and you buy a $600,000 condo or something in, in a, a center of Florida close to Independence Drive which is a, close to the Disneyland or something that's how it looks like so that's like a real comparison of the prices of course it's again it's a location 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 you do find 
find us some different cities here in South Florida where the prices will be like in affordable range too. For example, if you buy in personally, you see I have my own listing which is below $500,000 which is a great pricing and you can rent that house easily for $4,000 to $4,500. So there are a lot of great opportunities on investment and if you're buying for yourself also, there are very, very good developed areas you would find in South Florida. Same thing in the center of Florida, there are a lot of cities are getting developed, like a lot of lands has been purchased for the big builders and a lot of developments are happening. So if you are looking to buy something like in that setup, you have a very good choices there. So anyways, if you need any help or you want to discuss more about because this is not, this topic is a very vast topic. I cannot just simply say in this 10 minute video every single thing about the housing market. If you go in the North Florida, the main advantage is again pricing. Like Jacksonville, if you go, you would, can buy way cheaper than South Florida, Central Florida there. So a lot of investors doing the long distance investing, they do prefer to go there. But again, their traffic is less, right? So not a lot of people are looking to live there unless they have a work or they have some kind of priorities to live. In this area, as with South Florida or Central Florida, there are some other reasons than work people choose to live. Like let's say in virtual setup, a lot of people choose to live in South Florida just because of the weather, because of the beach being so close. Like any part of the South Florida you live, the beach will be 15 to 20 minutes. You don't have to even live on beach towns to experience the real lifestyle. On Naples, Marco Island, that side of the border, prices are not cheaper, almost com competitive to the South Florida. But as I said, they're less of the high rise and you know, it's more like a little bit of country feel you get and the things get slowed down, you know, especially it's a lot of senior citizen crowd there. So if you want to get a feel of city plus a countryside, then you know, the part of Miami, Fort Lauderdale area, that's a pretty good choice to live in. And there are very good west side cities where if you live in, let's say in West Palm Beach, you know, you can get a big acre lots and it gives a great feel to live. A lot of people keep their horses here. They have a beach, horses, ranch style, lifestyle. So a lot many different things you can play around to do. And if you want to, let's say, have a more countryside feel, right, then the Key Largos, like there are a lot of keys are there in the south. It has amazing feel, but those are like a tourist towns. So you do have to make sure the work wise, what you're going to play around. The houses there is a little bit different than here. A lot of houses there, just the wood based houses there. The hurricane, you know, a little bit becomes a problem in a keys because it's southernmost. A lot of, you know, the hurricane gets generated in the oceans and moves top, right? So a lot of times there are more probability of getting hurricanes in a keys. East and west, south side, it's kind of same probability. In central Florida, a little bit less, but a lot of times what happens is it starts from south and it shifts to the central Florida and the central Florida gets affected. So again, hurricane, there is nothing you can predict. The good part is there is always the warnings ahead of the time and you would know the graph and the houses in Florida in general made of such a way that it protects you from the hurricane. In North uh, Florida and the, and the Central Florida, I've heard there are not hurricane proof windows and those shutters or those things are much used. So if the hurricane comes there, then it's really, really hard for the people are not so used to facing it. But South Florida houses do have those things as set up. You do get a discount if you have a hurricane proof windows or doors and the shutters, panels, there are a lot of things you can play around to get the best discount even with the insurance companies. So those are like a major, major differences. And one thing last I'll throw in this video is the school system. So school system in Florida, you do have to select the cities like where you want to go. So make sure you do that homework before the time because not every city has amazing schools. The Florida has a lot of private schools like everywhere you go, but universities are amazing too. Like in the central South Florida, everywhere it's education is pretty same. But the schools, of course, you need to do your own homework like where you would like to go in a public schools and the cities based on that decide then compare the prices and then decide like okay where you want to go again it's a very big differences of living in like most of the people prefer in central florida and south florida so but it's a very big difference i feel like i have a lot of friends there and their lifestyle is a little bit different than our lifestyle there are a lot of things i'm not saying there's right or wrong but definitely you got to figure out which things you like it you know what's your priority and based on that decide which area is great. So by the way, if you need more information, comment me below. And if you want to discuss on a Zoom call, I provide the free consultation and we serve whole Florida. If you want to buy anywhere in Florida or you want to invest in anywhere in Florida, we try to help whole Florida. So I will talk to you 
in my next video.